All a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Man. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, Today's message of the day is simply this. Have you prayed about it? Track with me. Um, We just read Proverbs 16. Uh, This is Proverbs 16 verses 2 to 3. I'll read it again. It says, all a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Awesome scripture, man. Um, As a church family, we're going through Proverbs at the moment um, at A New Thing London. And um, yeah, this proverb really stuck out to me um, for the 16th of October. Um, hence Proverbs 16 and um, essentially like what I got from it the reason why uh, the word for today is or the message for today is have you prayed about it is because of this scripture so sometimes like we're doing all kinds of things and um, our, our motives may seem pure to us or like it may seem like what we're doing is clean or it's good and it's a good idea right Um, It could be a good idea for me to do these messages every day. Um, But God judges our motives. And that's what's really important to God. Like, um, it's not just about what we're doing, but it's about why we're doing it. It's about our real heart posture behind it, you know. Um, Are we doing things just to make money? Are we doing things uh, to be famous? Are we doing things to be seen by people? Um, What's the reason? What's the deeper reason? Um, as to why we're doing things and so yeah we see that here you know and that's why in verse 3 it then says commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans so what I'm getting from this which is really good is that when you commit your Lord when you commit your plans to the Lord um, he is basically able to uh, assess your heart he's able to change your heart change your desires um allow your will to align with his will and then he establishes the plans you know oftentimes people use this scripture as a means of like strong arming god where they've already got plans they've already got motives they've already got like impure reasons as to why they're doing what they're doing like deeper you know deeper inner reasons um maybe on the surface it doesn't look impure but They've got deeper reasons as to why they're about to do what they're going to do. Um, and um, they don't, uh, what's this word called? They, they commit it to God or they, they they give it to God. They ask God, God bless my plans <laughs> in, in the hopes of strong arming uh, God into blessing what they're doing. But then we find that like, you know, God's agenda is always like something else, you know? Um, and it's really interesting. That's why, like, I love this scripture read in context, like with verse two, um, that it says, you know, all a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. And then it says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. So in a sense, like God weighs up our motives. God deals with our motives first before he establishes the things that we want to do, you know? Um, And so for you, Heck, you may you may have a uh, a vision from the Lord. You may have uh, some sort of work that God wants you to do. Um, you may have an idea that you know is godly and it, it has come from the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Um, but your motives attached to that idea may not be in the right place, and they might not be like pure. And so, before carrying out any of the plans that you may have commit it to god like commit your heart to god commit your motives in those plans to god um and then he will help you he will shape you he'll mold you to make sure that your motives are pure and they're lining up with his and then he will establish your plans you know there's a phrase that um i i like to remember um that really helps me to kind of orient myself to doing things for God's glory and not mine. Um, And it's the fact that 
God will provide for what he has co-signed, you know, like God will give provision for his vision. You know, God's not going to back up something that isn't his idea. Uh, he's not going to back up something that um, will eventually lead us, <laughs> lead us astray, you know, or something that, um, yeah, it just doesn't come from him, you know, something that is contrary to who he is. And so pray about it. You know, this is your reminder. Whatever idea that is, whatever plan that is, whatever thing that is, uh, whatever it is, have you prayed about it? That's your message of the day. Uh, this has been Eman the Messenger, and I will see you next time. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video if it blessed you. And please share it with others, because if it blessed you, I'm sure it will bless them as well. Over here, you should have a button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please, please subscribe. It helps with our reach. It helps us to bless more people. And over here, apparently, is a video that is just for you, according to the YouTube algorithm. I don't know. Click the video and let me know in the comments if the video is just for you.